Hi everyone, my name is Vinny DiGenova. I'm a data science manager here at Wayfair and today I'm gonna to be giving you a brief overview of how we use product recommendations here at Wayfair. I'm gonna start off with a quick recap of recommender systems overall. There are a couple of main types of ways that you can generate recommendations. The first one is via collaborative filtering, and this is a way that we can actually leverage user behavior to generate recommendations for individual customers. We can generate some metric of similarity between two customers based off of the things that they've browsed in the past. In this case, these two customers have both browsed products A and B, so they're pretty similar. We can look at the products that only one of them has browsed to generate recommendations for the other. So in this case, we can generate a recommendation of product C for the second customer and a recommendation of product D for the first customer. So we're leveraging that user behavior to run, uh, create these recommendations. Um, another way that we can generate recommendations is through content-based filtering. In this way, we're not looking at customer behavior, but we're actually looking at the actual content of the products themselves to generate these recommendations. So if we see we have two products, we can create some similarity metric between them based off of the attributes about these products themselves, like the color, the material, the style of these products to generate recommendations. Another way that we think about doing recommendations at Wayfair are based on hybrid approaches. A hybrid approach is something that incorporates both pieces of information from content-based methods to behavioral-based methods. Uh, the way that we think about doing this at Wayfair is generating, uh, using a deep neural network architecture to kind of create a metric, a metric space that encodes style. And what this means is kind of basically putting clusters of items together in this space that represent different types of furniture. So maybe we have rustic furniture in one region of this space modern furniture in another, coastal furniture in a third region of this space. We can use the neural network architectures that encode behavioral information and content information to kind of create a space like this. Now the final question is how do we use all of these approaches all together to kind of create one experience for an individual customer? Well, we have a couple of pieces of information, right? So maybe we have this kind of behavioral based collaborative filtering models. Now we also have content-based models based on the attributes about the products themselves. And we have these hybrid approaches. Now the goal here is to leverage these recommender systems to kind of create one personalized experience. So what we'll do is look at the information that we have about a customer in real time, like their browsing history, and feed it into each one of these models to generate a set of recommendations. Now, once we have these recommendations, the question becomes, how do we actually order these things on a page for a given user? And what we'll typically do is do something like actually modeling business objectives. So looking at things like add to cart rate, or how often people are adding to cart from the page. Uh, conversion rate, or how often people are ordering these products. Or things like minimizing the return rate to make sure that customers are actually happy with the products that they buy. And we'll pass these recommendations into each one of these models to actually get on the output um, an ordered, personalized experience that we end up showing to those users. Awesome. So that's a super brief overview of how we think about recommendations here at Wayfair. Um, thanks for listening, and be sure to tune back in for some more cool projects that we're working on.